Wait, so you think about buying the JBL Charge 4? Don't do it yet until you watch this video. Let's talk about it. What's up, buds? Welcome to Wanna Buy It. I'm your host, Rodney. As always, we have another product to review. And if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button down below. Hit the bell notification. We always post a whole bunch of review of audio and tech on this channel. Um, so you guys, if you guys like that stuff, definitely hit the subscribe button. And to my subscribers now, thank you so much. Our channel is growing because of you guys, and I really do appreciate it, buds. Right now, this is one of the best-selling uh, portable speakers on Amazon as we speak. All right, but so right now the JBL Charge 4 is going for 130. It was crossed out from 200 down to 130. I definitely put the link down in the description below so you guys can click that and see the current price and see if it moved anywhere. But for 130, this is a really good speaker from 130. It's really great, actually. Um, we're going to break down everything about it, like the sound quality and me testing it more and more. Um, this is one of my favorite brands when it comes to portable speakers is JBL. I have the Charge 3 as well. Um, I did a review on that. I'll put it up here for you guys to click that and uh, check that one out as well. So the Charge 4 also comes in 11 different colors. You can get like red, pink, yellow, camo, white. They have so many different colors. So you got 11 different choices. You guys can uh, check out for this speaker, which is really good. You know, multiple choices on the speaker. Hopefully they have your favorite one. The JBL Charge 4 is waterproof, so you don't have to worry about that. You guys can take it to the beach, lake. You guys, if you spill anything on it, no worries. It is waterproof, which is always a bonus, especially for all the beach people out there. Definitely a thumbs up for them. Don't have to worry about that and all the sand and stuff. And with like a lot of JBL products, you have the little, you know, share plus that little button right there. So um, you can connect multiple speakers at once and have them all playing like the same song at the same time. Um, so that's what that button's for. A lot of the older ones are different. Um, they make you get the app to upgrade to the plus so it can work with the speaker like the Charge 3. As you see right here, this is the Charge 3 and it doesn't have the plus symbol. And this is the Charge 4 and you see that little plus right there. So that plus means you don't have to use the app to pay for the little upgrade so these can sync together. Um, so if you have multiple products with a plus on there, they will automatically link together. So definitely uh, look that up if you guys have multiple JBL speakers. But yeah, buds, with that JBL connect button, it connects to multiple speakers as long as you guys have that. I, I think it can go up to like 100. Um, don't quote me on that, but I think you can connect to like 100 um, the JBL speakers together if you guys have that. So that's pretty cool. So when it comes to the look and feel of the JBL, you get that nice little um, meshy feel, that little uh, speaker looking. It just looks like a whole, you know, inside of a speaker. And then you got your sub right there with the different logos. It has a nice little sturdy look, which I like. Um, it just looks like you can drop it and it'll survive a lot of things, which I've dropped my Charge 3 because that's my work one. And, and still kicking, nothing wrong with it. But yeah, it's nice, hard and sturdy which I really like. And then you got your top play buttons as well. Your Bluetooth, play, pause, and your volume, all that. So you got all that right there. And then on the back, you have your ports, where it's got the charge four. This is where you'll pull it down. And then you'll have your ports right there. So you can, you know, charge it up. You also have a USB port, so you can charge your phone through there. But like I said in my last review, the charge three really it, charging up your phone really sucks out the battery life of these. Like these die pretty quick once you do that. Um, I never done that on this Charge 4, but my Charge 3 is my work one. So that thing just gets devastated when I connect my phone. So when it comes to the battery life on the JBL Charge 4, it's 20 hours, which is really long and really good. Um, that's about the range you get from a lot of, you know, this size portable speakers is, you know, 24 to 20 hours. I use it about either two or three times um, at work before I had to charge it up. So that's really good on the battery life. So when it comes to the charge three and the four, this is the three and this is the four. You can feel the little size difference in them, but they don't look too far off from each other. Um, of course, you know, they got JBL and they got different logos in the insides, um, but they're not too far off of each other. And when it comes to sound quality as well, they're not too far off of each other. So I wanna say one thing, if you are looking to save money and you don't have the 130 or you don't wanna pay the 130, you could definitely get the Charge 3 and you won't be disappointed at all. All right, but so when it comes to the sound quality of this JBL, uh, I feel like everything works together. You get a full rich sound out of it. 
The instruments works really well with the vocals, so the mids and the highs, they work really well together. And as well, the bass um, is really good. As always, you know, that JBL has that nice little bass. You get a loud, rich sound, and you don't have to worry about it crackling, making weird noises. It's really clear. That's one thing I like about this JBL Charge 4 is you get that loudness and it just sounds so clear and crispy. So I really love that aspect of the JBL Charge 4. And like I said, all the, the instruments, the vocals, people's um, lyrics, you know, whatever you listen to, it, it sounds really um, good and it works together. Nothing's fighting each other. You don't have instruments on top of people's voices, can't hear the voices or vice versa. And then of course the bass sits in the background, supports all of it. So it sounds real good for a full rich sound. When it comes to this bass on the speaker, of course the space, is, the bass is not really big boom and hit because you know there's no big subwoofer on there but you get a nice little bass um you do feel it and hear it a little bit and you're like oh that sounds good right there so jbl does have a nice little bass even though the charge 3 is just a little bit better like five percentage better um this jbl charge 4 still has that jbl bass that everyone loves and um, expects from their products other than the charge 3 winning on that front when it comes to sound quality when it comes to the clearness of the sound the charge 4 is better so you know the extra 20 dollars, you just get a little bit louder i'll say it's a little bit louder by like like 10 percent five percent ish so you get a little bit louder and a little bit of better clarity sounds a little bit more clearer you know what i'm saying it basically is like the 4k sound and then the jbl charge 3 is like you know high 1080p you know so you're getting that 4k high quality sound but all in all buds it's a really good um really good speaker especially for 130 if it stays in the 130 range definitely get this is worth buying if it goes back up to 200 or something so make sure you guys click that link below to check the price but yeah for sure but definitely save money if this stays in the 130 range definitely worth the cop and definitely worth the money um if it gets into the 200s i would say personally go with the charge three stay in the hundred the low hundreds and save money because the difference between them is not that big it's like very it's it's really hard to even notice so I would definitely say save the money if this goes up back into the 200s with the charge three if this stays at 130 definitely get this one um worth it all right bud so there you have it that was my quick little review on the jbl charge 4. um if this video helped you out please leave a like a comment and subscribe all those things do help support this channel and i really would appreciate it and to all my subscribers now thank you so much for subscribing i really appreciate that as well thank you so much and as always, Buzz, with all these products, I'll leave the link down in the description below so you guys can click that and see the current price. And I'll see you guys in my next video or my next review. Everyone be safe out there. Peace.